This person looking completely like Elizabeth Olsen appeared on my For You page on TikTok. She was playing basketball. I'ma need a sentimental man or woman to pump me up Feeling fussy, walking in my Balenciennes Trying to bring out the fat And right after this video appeared on my For You page on TikTok This American basketball player was taken as a prisoner by Russia I think that this man was taken as a prisoner for the right reasons and even though there is many people playing basketball, the world revolve around me and my family members. And you know, I was talking to myself in the car because I know that people surround me and I was saying, why did they take this American basketball player as a hostage right after Elizabeth Olsen appeared on my For You page on TikTok as this basketball player? But uh, then this video appeared on my For You page on TikTok saying that this is not Elizabeth Olsen, this is Helene Husby. The name of the song used for this video is Lizzo and isn't that the same as uh, the nickname for Elizabeth Olsen? Or her actual nickname is Lizzie but it seems like you people are trying to make a parallel story to Elizabeth Olsen and even though it looks like this person in this video has another eye color you can fake that so I'm like, did you change out uh, Helene Husby with uh, Elizabeth Olsen and uh, now we are trying to hide this? And you know, it is possible uh, faking uh, being a basketball player when uh, the videos only last for some seconds. Because why does this tag only have a million views if this person is not smart and sensitive and uh, they are not trying to hide her popularity? And is it like normal that it says uh, a million views point zero? And uh, this person certainly looks a lot more like Elizabeth Olsen than Helene Husby. In a minute, I'ma need a sentimental man or woman to pump me up Feeling fussy, walking in my Balenciennes, trying to bring out the fat But after looking at some more pictures of Helene Husby, I believe that this is Helene Husby and not Elizabeth Olsen. For instance, due to this picture where she looks very similar to Elizabeth Olsen, but at the same time you understand that this is not Elizabeth Olsen. So this is uh, some information about Helene Husby. Helene Husby is 27 years old. She is 183 centimeters. 
She has the same height as Ben Fogle, which is assumed to be in the biological family with my biological half-brothers because of his appearance. I went to school with a person with the name Thomas, which has a little sister with the name Helena. I have a biological uncle with the name Tom Cruise and a biological aunt with the name Helene Wikstvedt. But Tom Cruise is assumed to be a Olsen Strand, while Helene Wikstvedt is assumed to be a Skanke Jensen. The actual name of Tom Cruise is Thomas Cruise. So just like my earlier classmate Thomas has a little sister with the name Helene, Tom Cruise is not the big brother of Helene Wikstvedt. Even though he is older, they are not in biological family according to my reasoning. But Helene Husby has uh, the exact same name Helene as Helene Wikstvedt. And uh, they name uh, the below generation on the above generation. And uh, they copy each other's biological families. And Helene Husby is assumed to be in my biological family because of her appearance. So even though my earlier classmate with the name Thomas had a little sister with the name Helena, with the E in the end, the, the name Helene is repeated in my biological family two times. And maybe their main reason for having those names is that, that uh, those names are similar to the names of many of my biological siblings and uh, aunts and uncles. But I think that there is more to the story and I think that there is supposed to be a Thomas, which is the big brother of uh, Helene. But that this Helene might be a uh, Helene without a E in the end. Even though the name Helene or Helene many times are used to represent my name Madeleine. Both Helene Husby and Helene Wikstvedt is 183 centimeters which means that they both are connected to the biological family Jensen. And the reason why Helene Husby has the same name as Helene Wikstvedt could be that uh, Helene Wikstvedt is her biological aunt. Or to be more precise, I think that this is the case. However, Helene Wikstvedt is the biological aunt of uh, Helene Husby on uh, the biological father's side of Helene Husby. While uh, Helene Wikstvedt is the biological aunt of me on uh, my biological father's side. And we do not have the same biological father. So since I went to school with a person with the name uh, Thomas, uh, which has a little sister with the name Helene. And Helene Husby looks like my biological mother's side. I think that uh, Helene Husby is my biological half-sister. And I have heard this last name of Helene Husby before, and that is because uh, this Norwegian celebrity, Jan Thomas, uh, was together with a person with the name Christopher Husby. Jan Thomas is assumed to be in the biological family of my biological half-brothers because of his appearance. And he is 186 centimeters, which means that uh, he is a twin height below uh, the biological mother of my biological half-brothers. A twin height is 2 centimeters, and that is the deviation in height which appears between twins. Each time you produce twins, the height reduces with 2 cm for one of the twins. The biological mother side of my biological half-brothers is Jensen, which means that Jan Thomas is in the biological family with Helene Husby and Helene Wikstvedt. 
and the height of 183 centimeters and 188 centimeters is probably the height of two different parents so that two siblings can get the same appearance from that one parent while uh, getting uh, that height from uh, two different parents or that is the logic but uh, there is a couple of other connection uh, methods in uh, the biological family tree for this to happen so when i went to school with a person with the name thomas with a little sister with the name helena that could be Jan Thomas and Helene Wikstvedt. However, Helene Wikstvedt is older than Jan Thomas. And even though Helene Husby is younger than uh, Jan Thomas, uh, she might be too young. But Jan Thomas might have a twin, so maybe that twin has the name Helene and is the little sister of Jan Thomas. And the popularity of Jan Thomas seemed to exceed everything here in Norway. And the last name of Helene Husby is probably based on the last name of her biological father, because it is not based on the last name of her assumed biological mother. And even though this could just be the non-biological last name of Helene Husby, I do not think so when uh, that is uh, the same last name as of uh, Christopher Mörk Husby. And when he has been together with uh, someone in uh, the biological family of my biological family, because that implies that there is a certain popularity related to that last name. I have even met Christopher Mörk Husby. But if uh, Helene Husby is in biological family with Jan Thomas, she is uh, probably not in uh, the biological family of Christopher Mörk Husby since he has been together with Jan Thomas. But the thing is this, that uh, other families, which is not in biological family with my biological family, name themselves based on my biological family because uh, that name is very popular. Christopher Mörk Husby don't even have his own information page on Google. He is like the earlier husband of Jan Thomas. So why was this American basketball player taken as a prisoner by Russia? Maybe they were supposed to keep this out of the media, but they did not do that. And maybe I should not talk about this for that reason. But uh, I get little feedback and it is difficult for me to know what to do. Anyhow, I believe in other powers steering the media picture at this point. And even though this basketball player which was taken as a prisoner was American and uh, Helene Husby is uh, from the UK, the America has a lot of power to do a lot of things. And maybe the fact that this American basketball player was taken as a prisoner by Russia is uh, connected to something completely different. But as I said, the world revolves around a few people. And even though Helene Husby looks like Elizabeth Olsen, they might have exchanged her with Elizabeth Olsen for some videos in order to make this extra popular. Because, you know, people like this when uh, they know something about uh, this uh, which you do not know. I do not function like that, but they do. And they are like, I know that this is Elizabeth Olsen and you don't. Na 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 na. Yeah, well, 
I don't think it is that funny, you know? Yeah, like when I know something which other people uh, do not know about, I have no fucking desire to tell about it. Like, I kept it to myself for many years that uh, Katy Perry harassed me, you know? And it gives me fucking nothing to know that I know that Katy Perry harassed me, but uh, many other people does not know. Nothing. It gives me nothing. And even though Katy Perry probably does not treat me very well in front of me or behind my back, I have a heart and that makes it difficult for me to tell about things like this. Yeah, so we are complete opposite. What you like, I really hate. You are evil, I am good-hearted. But yeah, I have been wondering why basketball is this fucking popular here in Norway. And then this video and Helene Husby might explain that popularity. And then that underlines what I am saying about the fact that uh, Norway is a very criminal country. Why the fuck does all of Norway know more about my biological family than what I know myself? And then they are like, shut up, stop complaining, you do not live in a less unfortunate country. That is a facade. You know that, and I know that pretty fucking well. It is a facade because you are trying to manipulate other people. And then they are like, people have not thrown stones at you like they do in less unfortunate countries. Actually, someone threw a stone in my face here in Norway. But I can tell you this, that being tortured with medications like I have been is so fucking much worse than getting a stone in my face. Yeah, and that is so narrow-minded to think that you cannot be tortured in Norway because that is a more fortunate country. More fortunate people can be just as evil as less fortunate people. And how much it is possible to torture you depends on who you are. And if you are smart and sensitive or stupid and insensitive. And many of my biological family members, which is smart and sensitive, is placed in fortunate countries. Because they are fortunate for a reason. They are doing human trafficking of me and my biological and smart, sensitive family members. So, come again, you said that people were more tortured in less fortunate countries, which does not get uh, money from human trafficking of uh, smart and sensitive people, which uh, get tortured because they are smart and sensitive. And you know what? These people in lead of these less unfortunate countries, they are in charge of Norway, like many other people with power. And you know that. So how does that in any way help me that uh, I live in Norway and not in less unfortunate countries when they are in charge of Norway? But you know, Norway might be worse than them because there is a reason why they have the possibility to live in a more fortunate country. And then they know that I have been tortured as hell with those medications because they surround me. But they do not care and they do not think that it is going to hurt them at any fucking point, so... However, there is a hell of a difference between being inside of this uh, tortured body and observing it from a distance. And the truth is this, that if they understand that this is going to hurt them at any fucking point in time, they are going to disappear before you fucking know it. But they want me to hurt as much as fucking possible. And that is why they continue with their corruption. But you are going to escape if you at any point understand that this is going to affect you. But if they do not let you escape and you experience what I have experienced for only 5 seconds, you are never going to hurt another human being ever again. Because this is too fucking hard for you to handle. It was way too fucking hard for me to handle. And I am much stronger than you. 
However, I did not go through this for five seconds. I went through this for many years. You are never going to hurt another human being again if you go through what I went through for only five seconds. But that is if you understand that this can happen to you again because uh, you do not have a heart and it doesn't matter to you if other people are hurt.